Hi, I'm Isaac Martinez, and this is my presentation on Richard Divencorn. First, I want to start off with a quote. All paintings start out of a mood, out of a relationship with things or people, out of a complete visual impression. To call this expression abstract seems to me often to confuse the issue. Abstract means literally to draw from or separate. In this sense, every artist is abstract. A realistic or non-objective approach makes no difference. The result is what counts. This quote comes from American painter Richard Dibenkorn, known for both his abstract and figure paintings, which often portrayed environments of California and New Mexico. This quote demonstrates Dibenkorn's understanding of one of his tasks as an artist. He wanted to provide some tangibility to his world, express emotions and feelings through brushstrokes on a canvas. Dibenkorn's idiosyncratic landscapes also touch on the task of artists to refresh our senses. One element of Dibenkorn's art that has been widely noticed is his use of light, or the representation of light, as well as color. As previously mentioned, one of Dibenkorn's primary influences on his works was the environment in New Mexico and California, though primarily California. The lush cities of California and the sun-kissed dry landscapes of New Mexico both provided a warm environment for him to bask in. The lighting and color choices in the majority of Dibenkorn's art are warm, reflecting the environments he had spent the majority of his artistic life in. As an example, here's Figure on a Porch, created in 1959. One of the most immediately recognizable subjects in the painting is a brightly colored floor, giving the impression of a warm porch front. Another aspect that adds to this is the harsh shadows that the chairs are giving off. The dark lighting gives the impression of the sun beating down on the chairs as well as a porch. As far as influence goes, Dibon Korn has been cited as being a major influence on the Bay Area figurative movement, a movement primarily in San Francisco, which saw artists transition from the traditionally more abstract expressionist style of the times to figuration. Using this piece, titled Coffee from 1959, gives us an idea of the kind of art that was being born from this movement. In this work, he's placed the subject off slightly to the side, providing an asymmetrical balance to the piece. Yet the subject still gets emphasis through her darker clothing, standing out more against the white wall behind her, her silver and red chair, and the green grass. Subjects in Dipen Korn's art were often tranquil in a sense, serene landscapes and people merely in the moment. Like Dipen Korn mentioned in the quote I started this presentation with, he wanted to create a mood with his works. Here's one of Dipen Korn's more popular works, seated figure with a hat from 1967. The subject matter is simple, with the title being very literal. It's a seated figure with a hat. But again, returning to color, the bright colors on the work give it a lively feel, with the figure's casual attire also contributing to this mood of peaceful tranquility. There's also a window from 1967. I would also describe it as being tranquil, but for different reasons. The color choices here are much darker. There's a feeling of emptiness, with there being large, solid colored blocks for the sky and the orange wall with these solid and harsh colorings calling forth the feeling of a smooth texture, as if untouched by anyone or anything. Yet, there's one lonesome chair, implying the existence of some kind of life in this landscape. Considering that one of Richard Dibenkorn's objectives with his works was to establish a mood, I would say that he has been successful throughout his career. And with that, I end my video. I hope you enjoyed and maybe learned a thing or two about the painter Richard Dibenkorn. Thank you.